Good morning, my wonderful friends. Make us with you on a beautiful day in Asha. Oh, so excited. I love how we get these messages every day that I'm so excited to share. We're going to talk about what am I subconsciously saying I am to? What am I subconsciously saying I am to? Our subconscious, my friends, it's that 90% power. You know, I'm a huge fan of Carl Jung. He's my all-time favorite psychiatrist. And he said, what lies in your subconscious will manifest itself. You can know your future if you can know your subconscious mind. And my friends, you see this. A lot of times, people are speaking their I am's from that little 10% conscious mind. And it's more of a, a hoping but, but they don't really have a reason to believe yet. They, they haven't had enough experience to make it a true belief. And that's what I want to talk about. Gaining more experience so we can have a stronger belief. But to have those experiences, to get a deeper, true, subconscious belief, we have to have reason to believe. And I think the Magi, more than anyone else, shows the importance of reason to believe. We have to have reason. And then, my friends, it starts to just take off. Your life will snowball where it gets better and better. More health, more life, more blessings. You know, Jesus said, He who has, even more will be added unto him. Uh, go to Asha 2 real quick with me. Asha 2 says, To know only good, to be intimate with only good. To do that though, you have to have reason. This knowing that we're talking about, it, when it was written, it was like a man would know his wife. The two would become one. My friends, it's saying to become one with only good, only God, only divine life, divine health, peace, protection, power, provision. My, my friends, I'm not going to go through all the stories for the new people because I'll run off my old ones because they've heard them a million times, but I've seen everything. My, fr my friend, I've, I raised a deer from the dead. I've made it rain. I, I put up a wall that kept my son from going out into the street and get hit by a car. One of my friends was about to get abducted and I froze them like statues. After so many things happening, and at first you start to think, was that a coincidence, right? Because people are telling you, oh, that's just a coincidence, my friends. But it's pretty soon, you, you had so many experiences that, that it's beyond just, you know, a coincidence or, uh, or it would have happened anyway. Or, you know, it's, it's too much, my friends. And now it's so easy for me to believe at a heart level, my friends. I'm, I'm to the point where I just expect to live in divine health. I know that sickness and disease dies when it touches me. It can't live in this atmosphere. I know everything I put my hand to is blessed. I know there's protection around me and my family and my animals and my, my home. I just expect it because that's my experience. But, but so many people, they, they haven't had those good experiences. And, and they see themselves snowballing worse and worse. And I want to share a story with you that I feel is okay to, to share with you. I, I, I was really praying about it this morning, but I want to talk about our wonderful friend Dorothy. We call her Angel Dorothy. She's still with us. She's still a Magi. She's working with us on the other side of the veil, my friends. I'll never forget, she sent me a message one time, and she got scared. One of her family members got diagnosed with breast cancer, and she had a fear hit her, like oh no, is this, you know, in my family genes? You know, and I'm not a scientist, but from what I understand, it takes four days to, to activate a gene. So, so like someone, say, that has uh, breast cancer in, in their genes, in their family line, it, it can take four days to actually activate it. It, they, it doesn't have to be activated, my friends. And I'll tell you what, I, I believe that we have power over our genes and our DNA. And science is starting to show this. 
But, but she said, uh, this fear hit me. And so she started trying to speak the I am's, right? But, but it was coming from a conscious level because there was that fear there. And she had been told her whole life and had experience of seeing it take place that if it's in your genes, you're a goner, my friend. So her 90% was holding that I am of negativity. My friends, and, and she did, she got breast cancer. And, and Spirit told me though, and I spoke it to her, I said, you will not die from this. You will live, you're gonna be healed from this. And she was. Years later, it came back. And she contacted me. And I didn't get that same message this time. I felt like it was, that she was gonna go to the other side, my friends. And, she, and that's what ended up happening. But the importance of the 90% of speaking I am not from the 10% because when you're speaking from the 10% my friends it, it's weak it, it's hoping it's begging my friends but when you speak from the 90% uh, that's where the power is that's what's gonna take place my friends the 10% the, the, the empty words they're, they're not gonna do anything my friends so how do we condition ourselves then to get it to a heart belief when we haven't had the experiences and the stories we have to have a reason to believe and I'm going to give you your reason today you know Asha 13 says it so beautifully it says we can put an end to all suffering if we know Asha 13 you know and so we'll touch on that but first I want to talk about Asha 10 Asha 10 talks about a continuum so picture a line and say here you have hot, is this board showing up okay? I know sometimes there's a glare. You get the idea even if it's not. Cold. This is just temperature. It's the same thing, but different degrees. So here you got hot, you got freezing, you got boiling hot. In here you got lukewarm, but it's the same thing. It's just temperature. You, you can do that with shades, right? You got white, you got black. In the middle here you got gray. My friends, people try to put God and the evil spirit on a continuum, right? He, he, he can be real loving or he can be real angry. He, he, he can uh, send health and healing or he can send sickness and disease, right? And he goes back and forth on this continuum like he's reactive. My friends, and this is what I want you to understand. I, I want you to be proactive not reactive my friends we're gonna get that's what mad magi magic is it's getting out ahead of it my friends so you don't need a miracle you're not begging god that you know you need a miracle you're out ahead of it you're living in that magic of divine life divine health peace joy prosperity protection my friends but but the world religions have painted god as reactive right if the world is acting bad uh oh he's sliding down here to angry right he gets jealous he's gonna kill men women and children you know but if you're doing good okay he's happy over here you know we don't teach our kids that why would we tell them that's what God looks like Do you tell them when they go to school and, and uh, you know a kid bumps into him or, or does something wrong you know slay him get angry Stand up for your, you know, no, we teach them, be kind, forgiving, maybe the kid's having a bad day, you, you know, we give our kids, we train them to get ahead of it, be proactive, be loving, you know, but yet we, we, we have an idea of God that we wouldn't even teach our own children, that we don't believe ourselves, we, we believe God wants us to be loving and kind all the time, not reactive, Right? If someone cuts you off in traffic, are you supposed to lose your mind, flip them off, yell, scream? <laughs> you know? No. So why do we expect God to act like that? So you, you want to see Magi magic right here? Let me show you what happens. Boom. We make this separation. It's no longer a continuum between good spirit and evil spirit. There's good spirit or there's evil spirit. My friends, they're not on a continuum. And in good spirit is only love peace, joy, kindness, evil spirit is hate, fear, greed, you know, all those things, my friends, S complete separation, do not come together, are not the same thing, 
my friends, our reason to believe that we're divine health, divine life, that we're meant to live in peace, joy, kindness, goodness, because this is where we come from. This is where we come from, what we're made of, what we shall return to, and the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. We are not these things. We are not hate, anger, sickness, disease, war, killing, murder. My friends, we make that separation. We live in this circle. It's light in this darkness cannot come in this light. The sickness and disease cannot come into God. My friends, God can't get sick, I can't get sick. God doesn't get angry and hateful and vengeful, and neither do I, my friends. But that's not what the world religions teach. That's why our religion is so beautiful. That's why we work in these miracles and magic that others don't, my friends. That's why we live in this beautiful place that others don't. That's why we have these experiences that others don't, because we, in God we live, move, and have our being. We've restored His image. We've restored our image. We've restored our world, our atmosphere that we live in. It doesn't matter what's going on outside of us. If people are acting the fool and hateful and angry, it doesn't change our frequency. We're love. We're blessed. We walk in peace. My friends, grab your book, Asha. If you don't have Asha, it's Asha by Winston Head, available at Amazon. I push it hard because we give all the money to charity, and I love doing that. Let's finish Asha 2, and then we'll go to Asha 13, like I promised. It says, perceive and understand only God good. My friends, no longer that continuum. We see Him as only God good. And it says, let your experience be the same. We're letting our experience. Now we're going to have experience in what it's like to just live in that spirit. We've taken now just that pure spirit into us. And it changes us. My friends, on a subconscious level, we're saying, I'm one with that all good God that's divine life. Now look what our genes and DNA are doing, what they're saying. Sickness and disease can't live in me. It can't express itself through me. It's not going to last in this atmosphere, period. It says, be aware at all times of your high standing, your high frequency that you're holding. Always be mindful of your frequency, holding that high frequency. Remembering the covenant written on your mind that you might not forget you are a child of the king. The apple don't fall far from the tree. I'm just like daddy. My friends, I'm light, I'm love, I'm health, I'm kind. We're sons and daughters, we're children of the king. Go to Asha 13. It's, <coughs> it says the original word. <coughs> Excuse me. The original word. Word, my friends. Word, frequency, brought this whole world into existence. The perfect creator's perfect word, perfect frequency, made the real world. And we want to step into that, into the perfect creator's perfect idea that we call Asha, heaven on earth. No more war, no more suffering. Goodness, my friends, the original word, all good comes from the creator and no evil comes from him. From this original frequency word, the spiritual world is made straight and then the material world comes into order. Now get this, the original word of false religion Evil comes from the Creator. How many of the religions teach God sends good and evil? He heals and sends disease. He creates and destroys. And they've taken that spirit into them. And it causes suffering. It says, in this false idea is all the evil that creatures suffer. My friends, our thoughts are powerful. All the masters said it. Your thoughts make your world. Your true beliefs make your world. What do you really believe about God, about yourself, about what this world is? Let's see it for what it really is. The real above all real. Our reason, the perfect creator, could have nothing else but a perfect idea. Let's take that spirit. Let's hold that. Let's speak those I am's from our heart. I am divine life. I am divine health. I am divine peace and divine joy. I'm protected, I'm provided for, I'm in God, and God is in me. Guys, I love you. So proud of everything you're doing. 
keep sharing this message of the Magi and share it with your very being. When you say Asha is, my friends, God is, the good God, love is, peace is, joy is. Be blessed, my friends, and we'll see you next time.